Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from 1001 Sandwiches of 1936, we're going to be making the hot cottage cheese sandwich. Yeah, sorry for the background noise, but uh, the driver's got to run. This is a working household. First thing we have to do is cut off crusts from slices of bread. Save those for breadcrumbs later. Now we spread on some cottage cheese. It does not say how much. Then we fry that up in some butter. And I'm just going to put it in a low oven to keep it warm while we do the next step. Now in the same pan with a little more melted butter, we add in some diced green pepper and cook that until softened. Now we add in canned tomato soup, salt, and pepper. And now we pour that over our cottage cheese sandwich. Okay, let's give this hot cottage cheese sandwich a go. That's actually really good. With well, the cottage cheese heated up, it almost comes off like a ricotta. And then you've got this tomato soup. A little salt, a little pepper, a little green bell pepper. This is pretty tasty. I do want to plus it up though. I'm gonna add a little chili flake. Those of you from San Diego might recognize where this is from. And a little fresh basil. Okay, let's give this hot cottage cheese sandwich plus up with a little fresh basil and red chili flakes. A go. Mmm, mmm, nice kick of heat. Basil and tomato are best made, so yeah. Absolutely delicious. All right, so here's the deal. I know some of you out there absolutely hate cottage cheese and you will never like this sandwich. But if you do like cottage cheese, I think you would like the sandwich, the original one or the plus up. And, and to be perfectly frank, when I read hot cottage cheese sandwich, I thought, oh boy, that's not a great idea. It is a great idea. It got kind of ricotta-like. Uh, and then it's between those two slices of buttered toast, essentially, topped with a tomato soup and a little green bell pepper, salt and pepper. Yeah. It was tasty. I'm gonna give that a seven and a half. Plus up with the chili flakes and the basil, eight and a half. I dig this immensely. I'm definitely gonna finish that and I would make either one, but especially the plus up one any day. All right, see you tomorrow.